abandoned YouTube for the past few weeks. I feel like I've just been having so much going on, especially on social media. I feel like I've just been focusing on the podcast. Hello, podcast. Also, I've just been posting a ton on Instagram. And so my number one thing on my to-do list was film a vlog. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Lots of fun things have been happening. My friend Shannon's in town. Today, we woke up and had to do a podcast and something very sad happened. John, do you wanna chime in? Oh, what sure. happened? We filmed 25 minutes of our podcast and I forgot to plug in the computer and the computer died. We lost the whole first half of our podcast, which is just... It was a bummer. It's just a bummer. It ended up all working out, but I've done things like this before where I thought I was filming a YouTube video or I thought something was recording and then it's not and it just crushes your soul. So we got that done and we're feeling good. Good morning, guys. It's actually the next day because yesterday was honestly a little bit of a mess. The rest of my day was just running errands and doing not that fun of things. So I'm just gonna pick the vlog back up today and I'm just in here with James playing some trains. James, do you wanna show them your Mario shirt? Whoa. <laughs> Mario. A tractor. And you have tractors. Always tractors. I just ate breakfast and got ready to go to the gym. And some of my leggings that are not maternity are starting to be real too tight. So I'm gonna have to transition to probably just maternity leggings. This is probably one of the last times I'll be able to wear these. But last night I was awake from one to four because I have pregnancy insomnia so bad this time around. I feel like I'm just running on fumes every day with this sleeping situation. The second trimester usually is the best for like how you feel throughout your pregnancy. So my nausea is finally gone down. But this sleeping issue is an issue. But you know what? That's why we have coffee. So I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and do my quiet time. So let's go. This little book is so cute. I got it on Amazon. It's called Cook in a Book Cookies. And it's a like interactive book. Look at this. Look, James, sift the flower. Let's take out the cookie. As you can see, someone's been biting them. No. no. Put them back. Okay, I'm about to do a little workout. I am very proud of myself because through this pregnancy, I've really tried to stay active because I did not do that with James. So I've been working out or just trying to walk or do something five days a week. And I've been doing this program that I found on YouTube. I can link it below. It's like free to watch, which is really nice. But it's like an eight week program and I'm almost through the whole thing and I've been really liking it. So today we're gonna do a little, I think it said it was a glute strength. Tonight we're all going to my parents' house and my dad's making chili and I thought it'd be the perfect thing. Oh no. Okay, I thought there was bugs in this, but I think it's just the specks in the cornmeal because it's stone ground. I've honestly never made homemade cornbread. I always use like a packaged one, but I feel like homemade cornbread would be really good. I will link the recipe that I'm using down below and we'll see how it turns out. After this, I just need to get ready and film something for work. It's actually Halloween today, but I've honestly not even thought about Halloween at all. I got James a little firefighter costume, but I don't think me and Marcus are gonna dress up and it's just gonna be really chill this year. One thing about this kitchen and this house 
is that there is not very much storage at all. I feel like I'm having to reorganize this kitchen like once a month. So that's what I'm really excited one day when we have our house done is to have a really big kitchen with lots of storage. Mix that all together. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and let's hope it's delicious. Okay, I have a purchase that I have been on the fence about for so long. It's these solid brass salt and pepper shakers and they just came in the mail. And I just put this one together, so I'm gonna put the other one together. Um, John actually has these, that's how I saw them and I was like, where did you get them? He actually got his from Amber Interiors, but then I found the same ones on Amazon. Here they are. I love them. I think I'm gonna keep them on my dining table. And this is from the brand Alexander Handcrafted Mills. I will have them linked in my storefront in case you have someone in your life that you want to gift them to. I feel like these would be such a special homewarming gift. On a much more cheaper note, these candles from Trader Joe's, if you can snag a few, do it. These are the um, Honeycrisp Apple candles from Trader Joe's. I've just always loved apple since, and this is probably one of my favorite candles of all time. So while they have these for the fall, you should check them out. And they also have their vanilla bean paste, which let me just show you my stash. Cause I did buy like five last year and I went through it so fast. And you can always get vanilla bean paste at Whole Foods or Amazon or anywhere, but it's just so much more expensive than at Trader Joe's. They have it for so cheap. So here's my stash currently. And um, I'm feeling very good about that. I wish you guys could smell how good this cornbread smells. Oh, it looks perf. I finally pulled myself together. I did my hair for the first time in, I can't even remember the last time I actually curled my hair, but I did a little Dyson Airwrap action, and look, I got this in the mail. It's from Salty Face, and basically it's like a faux freckle pin, and I added a few to my face. I don't know if you guys can see. I think it's cute, or does it just look like I have sun damage? You tell me. Now I'm gonna film this brand deal. I'm working with Pottery Barn for their baby registry on Instagram. So I'm gonna shoot a little video for that. I have on my go-to cozy sweater that I actually got in Copenhagen. It's from Arquette and it's a wool sweater and it's just the best. And then I have on this little skirt that I didn't realize you can see my belly button in, but this is from um, Dish, D-I-S-S-H. And it's a perfect skirt for maternity because it's super stretchy and maybe I need to put on like some shorts to cover the belly button. <laughs> I don't know, pregnancy problems. Finished my work for the day and I changed back into comfy clothes. This is what I'll be trick-or-treating in this year. Obviously I'm dressed as a gray blob and I gotta remember the cornbread, James's candy bag. Hey Shannon, I just asked her, do you wanna be in the vlog right now? And she said, no thanks. So I'm disobeying her consent. Hi. And we're ready to party. We're back from my mom's house. I wouldn't even really say we went trick or treating. James A would not wear his firefighter costume. So he just wore his plain sweatshirt and sweatpants. And then we went to like two houses. And then we basically just went back to my mom's house and ate chili and the cornbread was very good, I must say. Um, but I don't know. I've been having mixed feelings just in general about Halloween. Right now, Marcus and Shannon are dissecting what Teletubbies was about. What are you watching? 
we were just talking about how weird the Teletubbies are, and I was like, should I show James? D James, do you like Teletubbies? No, he's not going to, and we're not going to show him, but I wanted to watch it with Shane, he was like, see it, so I had to play it for him. But this show is weird, dude. Say weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. We've got our fireplace going, and look at this. By the way, it's the next day. I think this is a week in a life vlog. We've got some chicken stock, homemade by Crispy. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. My mom is making gumbo tonight, so she is making homemade chicken stock. But I am about to do some sourdough. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my sourdough process, just like the beginning part of it, because I've been using a new recipe and it is very easy. And you don't have to be home all day, which is nice. I'm trying to convince Shannon that she needs to start sourdough while she's in Uganda for the next three years. She's still not fully convinced that she's ready to do it. She's just dancing off camera, not talking. She's just mute for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should really see what she's doing off camera, then you would really know who she is. Okay, I have a Brita water filter, and then I was just reading Brita's don't actually filter out all the things that are bad. So, if you've got any suggestions for me of the best water filter, let me know. Also, what's really nice about sourdough that I feel like some people don't know is that you can just put it in the fridge. You don't have to feed it every single day because that would be using a lot of flour. Unless you're wanting to bake bread every single day, which is a lot, you just stick it in the fridge after you use it for your loaf. You just have to make sure you have some left in there. And then you can feed it the night before you want to bake with it, and then you're good to go. Now we're gonna add our flour, a thousand grams of flour for two loaves. And so I think I'm gonna do half wheat flour for some complexity. I usually just do bread flour, but today I wanna mix it up. By the way, I have all of my favorite bread essentials linked on my Amazon storefront all in one place. So if you wanna know where any of my supplies are from, I'll put it below. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's all mixed up. Okay, now this goes into the oven on the proofing setting for 30 minutes and then we're gonna add our salt. But if someone doesn't have proofing, what do they do? Oh, they can put it on the counter. We made it to our homeland. Coolers. <laughs> If you listen to the podcast, I just, I won't even say another word. But if you, if you listen to That's the Point, you know our feelings. But you gotta give them the good tips. The good tips are to get your fries extra crispy. Culver's root beer. Very Culver's good. root beer is great. Any more tips? Today I'm trying the deluxe. Shannon got the double, I got the single, and... We're so excited. And then we're gonna go pick up Emily and then we're gonna go to the mall. Here's an extra crispy fry. Oh, no, it's actually perfect. <gasps> Look at that. Show them. Is this double? Oh, this might be mine. That's yours. Oh, perfect. No, oh, they're not getting the full effect. See how it's like fresh vibes? And I got some fries. <gasps> <laughs> you snuck a fry. Look at that. Double. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers to Culver's. Okay, we're gonna pick a candle together. Bourbon vanilla. That's a no for me. I think I'm gonna like this because it's noble fir garland. That is very Christmassy. An acorn. No. No. Okay, what's that Pink peppercorn. I think this is like real marble. But I think it's $28. Oh. And it's thick, that means there's less pain. What is happening? <laughs> okay. Come on. I'm yeah, so shook by okay. that. Shannon's like, it's okay. Be normal. You'll be fine. No, I'm saying it's okay that she's shocked. Oh. Me too. Yeah. Well, I didn't know whose phone that was. I didn't know what that was. Like, and all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many wins for me for cute? This is a candle. 
creativity. I was thinking everything that came well, out of this. I almost poked this my one. eyes out like that. But this is kind of weird, right? Yeah. But then you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. I think it's cute and vintage looking. I think it's 10 out of 10 cute. Now, and I like the smell. But it's not Christmassy, but it smells really good. Oh, yeah. Having a S'mores night. So why don't you tell us exactly what this is and how much it is, where you can get it. <laughs> this is a flicker fire. You can get it on Amazon. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. And flickerfire.com, of course. And flickerfire.com. <laughs> it is so good. He's the creative director. Jonathan Volk. Thank you. for so long and now I'm starting Esther and look at her Katya. it's hard just to have the, the good moves Katya. I'm gonna show you guys my sourdough this one turned out cute love the oval shape smells so good this one I try to kind of do a Christmas vibe with like a star on the top and it burst in all the wrong places so you can't even really tell what I was going for but I'm sure she'll still be great. Would you rate this one looks wise? A three. A three. Uh oh. No a four. No I would say three. I'll get my rate. I would give this one well you can say first. I give that one a seven. No, an eight. I would give that one an eight. I think I would give this one a seven. Oh yeah, I'm burning my new candle that I showed y'all. This is a 10 out of 10. It's actually better than I even expected. It's kind of like subtle, but still makes your house smell really good. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I officially did a week in the life vlog and I genuinely have no idea what footage I got, if this vlog is gonna be a hot mess or a cozy vlog. I really hope I got <laughs> good stuff. But right now I am in Nashville. I'm meeting Lexi and our agent and we're going to have some brunch. I've never been to this brunch place, but it looks really cute. So I'm excited because I haven't eaten anything this morning. And usually right when I wake up, especially since I'm pregnant, I eat. And since I didn't this morning, I feel the nausea coming. Just finished up brunch. It was great. I don't think I got any clips when it was in there. I think I took a picture of our coffee and that's all. But we were just chatting for like an hour and a half. It was great. Um, I love our agent. She is the best. It's so important to have a good team around you. Um, when you work in social media or the entertainment business, it's hard to find good, trustworthy people and I love my team. Now I am meeting up with Marcus and we have a little meeting about our house, which I know it's like the number one question that I get guys, but there's reasons why I haven't given you guys an update yet, but an update will be coming soon. James is with my mom today, so that's how I'm getting all of this stuff done. And it is such a beautiful day. I'm in a place where there are still fall leaves right now, which is good because all the leaves at my house disappeared really quickly and I was so sad about it. Look at this. This is my view right now. Very beautiful. Something very exciting has finally come the mail. It is the final version of Growing Seasons and I have butterflies. I am 
I'm about to open it for the first time. So, you guys get to open it with me. It looks really good. Good. Right? Yeah, it's so good. I'm signing my first book to my mom, who this book is partially dedicated to. This one's to my mom and dad. How's the penmanship? Perfect. Dolly bit this one, so this is why they're getting this one. 